Hello, everybody. Welcome to Little Jaws Yarns. If this is your very first time here, I'm Alicia. I notice usually around this time of year, new subscribers and new viewers start coming in. So if this is your first, very first time seeing me, I usually like to have live streams every single Saturday. And when we do, we talk about all things crochet and we drink a little bit of wine. So that's what we're going to be doing here today. So we are going to be talking about crochet shawls. I know some people think shawls are more for the winter, but you know, still warm outside. So we're going to go over some of the top 10 that I like. So what is going on with you right now? What's new in your life? Where are you located? Right now I am in Pennsylvania near Pittsburgh and it has been so rainy for the past three, I say a week about and I'm tired, I need some sunshine, but it's also been horribly hot, like 90 degree hot. My bedroom is in the attic. My bedroom is like the whole entire top floor. It takes so much for my air conditioning, trying to cool it off. We literally like sectioned off my bedroom so we can try to keep half the room cool. It's horrible. So what's going on with you? I'm gonna check in the comments and see what's going on. Let's see. I see. Hey, you were here first. Knit and crochet tiger. This Saturday is getting better. I can't wait to see Alicia show. Thank you for showing up. Who else is here? Hello, Annetta. Oh, Annette, forgive me. Let's see. Who else do we have in here? Uh, designed by Hooker. We has, let's see, who else? Yazina, London GB in the house. All right, everybody. So if you want to know exactly where you can find all these patterns and you don't feel like watching me chit chat through this whole live stream, down in the description box below is a link to all of these free patterns. So you're not just going to be watching these like I wish I knew where to find them. They're all down in the description box. So we're going to hop right into this. Let's see. Let me bring off the last one. Oh, and everybody. Is there like a lag on my screen? Because I noticed there's a lag on mine. I'm trying to see, am I hooked up to the ethernet? Give me a thumbs up if everything looks smooth right now. You guys are like my like technicians behind the screen. Hey, XD Symphony. Everything looking good? All right, so let's see. I haven't seen a response yet because YouTube is like 20 seconds behind. I guess if I say something offensive or whatever, they can like immediately cut me off or I don't know, but it's always like a 20 second delay. All right. Now I'm seeing all the thumbs up. We are going to hop right into it. Oh, wait, I got a thumbs down. Ooh, let me check my ethernet. I got a ups, down, ups, down. I'm just going to peek real quick and make sure. All right. I think everything's good. Maybe it's because my kids are on the internet. You know how the kids are. Ugh. All right, but we're going to hop right into this. Oh, please, girl. I've got so much time on my hands. I need something to fill it. So your show is awesome for that. Thank you so much. All right, so let's hop right. Oh, before I hop right into it, I usually ask the question before I go into my whole spill about these patterns. So this is how we all can be involved and talk and get to know each other. So right now what is going on in your life it doesn't have to be about crochet just tell me what's going on with your life but make sure you put question marks in front of it so i know to bring it up so we're going to go over the first two patterns and then we're going to discuss what's going on in our lives now let's hop into the patterns all right Oop, I didn't have it set up. Let me pull this down. Here it is. This is called the Vintage Tulip Crochet Lace Shawl. Monochrome is a marvelous in this monochrome is marvelous in a stunning vintage tulip shawl from Wellmade. I know the new uh, color changing cakes are super popular, but there's something to be said about this single color design. This free crochet lace shawl pattern is so easy to style, and it's pretty easy to make too. The design calls for double crochet stitches, V stitches and puff stitches. The designer is this is well made. And remember guys, you can find this pattern down in the description box below and they are all free. This is such a cute, easy stitch. It looks like it's just a whole bunch of skip stitches. I like a pattern where I can like 
whiz through it. I'm not for the real intricate. I might make some like tutorials, but doing an intricate pattern is really not my style. Ooh, this one. This is number two. This is called the Seaside Crochet Shawl. Ooh, say that three times fast. Use this free crochet lace shawl pattern. It can be worn all year round. Always, I always recommend triangle shawls. The taper ends are perfect for tying and securing your wrap without adding any extra bulk. The Lake Seaside Shawl from original, Originally Lovely is an excellent example of a design that can be worn in a number of ways. And there's even a matching sun hat. The designer of this pattern is Originally Lovely. All right. Those were some beautiful shawls. I've only made probably like, uh, recently I made this pink shawl with some scrap yarn I had. All of what was like a granny stitch type yarn. I mean, granny stitch type pattern. It was cute though. All right. So the question I asked, what's going on in your life right now? What's new? What's different? So before you uh, answer that in the comments, make sure you put question marks in front of it. So I know to bring it up to the front. I'll start with myself. My daughter, she's 20 years old. She went to community college for the first two years of schooling. She is going away to college for the very first time. And I am super sad about it. I, I had her very young. I was 20 year old when I had her. And, you know, when you're young, you know, you love your baby, but you're like, oh, when she graduates high school, I'll be 38. I'll be still young. Now, I was blessed with two extra years in the house with her. And I'm going to miss her so much when she leaves. Oh, I don't want to get emotional on camera. That's weird. But she's my firstborn, my baby, and she's leaving on Friday. So it's going to be oh, so sad. Okay. Sorry. Whew. So I'm going to get off of me now Whew. and get to you. So what's going on in your life? So I'm going to read that. Didn't expect to get emotional on camera. That's crazy. Okay. Let's see. My girl, XD Symphony, she says, work, work, and more work. Doesn't sound much fun. <laughs> uh, Kanina, wait, Kahina says, building a house during the pandemic. Shake my head. Wow. Oh, we got a super chat. Let's see who super chatted. I can't. Where are you at? I'm going to find you. Oh, it's my girl, Maria. Let me pull you up. Maria, she says, oh, let me turn these off. Maria says, what's going on in my life? Something big. I've done the paperwork to make the, uh, uh, I can never pronounce your last name, Skirchenbach Mass and Craft Emporium and Official LLC. Still have a lot of work to do before the launch, but I'm on my way. Listen, cheers to you. Congratulations. That is so amazing. She sent me, I'm sorry, I'm looking down at the screen. I should be looking up at you. She's made me the most amazing mask. Every time I go out, people ask like, where did you get that mask? Maria, she is absolutely talented and you've been a blessing during this whole pandemic. And you know the routine. I know you usually don't um, take the patterns, but whenever you donate, you get to spend the wheel of patterns. So let's pull that up. Let's see. I got my window open outside so I can hear like people talking. They're probably thinking, why is this woman talking so loud? All right. Here is the Will of Patterns. This is for anybody who donates. This is my little thank you to you for donating. So I'm going to give it a spin. And you get my jewel slippers. And if these any patterns that you ever received before, you can have a pick from whatever you want in my Etsy shop. That link will be down below. And here are the jewel slippers. Thank you so much, Maria. Let's see what else. Cherry B48, another fave, getting ready for a 50 plus reunion. Cheers to you. Ah, uh, Patrice Avery, thank you. Blessings on your daughter's college journey. It's like a journey for me. I remember when I moved out. I never seen my mother cry and she cried and I'm like, Oh, my mom loves me. But I cried too, but I didn't truly understand it. I thought when she cried, it was done. She went about her day. She told me, cause I was the youngest, the last of three that she uh, cried for two weeks. I'm like, sure you did mom. And now that my daughter's leaving, it's like my heart is being ripped out. I've never been without her for more than a week. That is the longest I've ever been without my daughter. 
And the fact that she'll be gone for months, it's like, ha. Huh. Okay, let me give it a quick scroll. Who else? Let's see. Colby, I just moved from home for the second time for college. It's not easy on here either. You can still FaceTime her though, which helps a lot. <sighs> yeah, I'm, it does help. Even my, my son, he's so sad too. I remember we talked about it and he cried. He's 10 years old. There's like a 10 year age gap between the both of them. But she's always been like his second mom. It's like, I'm always so grateful that I had her first. Oh, and guys, if you're just making it to this live stream and you're wondering, like, where are the patterns? Don't worry. In my live streams, I'm chatty. So if you want to get directly to all these patterns that you see in this live stream, they're all linked down in the description box below. But this is here where we talk and get to know each other. So let's see who else. I'll do a couple more. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Life and Stitches says, I have two that have moved out and two left at home. It doesn't get any easier. I think I know when my youngest, when he leaves, I don't know. I hope I'll have some grandchildren by then, maybe. You know, I mean, not fingers crossed because my child's too young, because they're 10 years apart. Maybe my daughter will be 30. You know, my son will move at 20. So 30 is a good time to have the first child. I mean. I can still be young. I'll be like 50. I'll be a young grandma, you know. <laughs> Let's see what else. One more, one more, one more. This is fun. Okay. Uh, Kaja says, hello, I'm going to get ready for a show. It's normally like Thanksgiving, December. Um, I'm making those some roll oh some roll scarves and scrunchies and different types of scarves. Cool, and I hope everything goes great during that. And you know what? I know you do well because I'm sending you all those crochet vibes and good lucks. All right, so we're gonna hop right back into it. You know what? How about I'm enjoying this talk between the both of us. So how about we keep going on? What's going on in your life right now? Tell me before you do, make sure you put comments in front of it. And so I know to bring it up so we can all discuss it. And I'll tell you some more what's going on in my life. So we're going to hop right into this. And remember, all of these are free patterns and they'll all be linked down in the description box below. So let's go over to my screen share. We'll bring up the next pattern. Number three. This is called, oh, this is pretty. I want to show you the picture. Oh, this one with the better color. This is gorgeous. This is called Drelly. Oh, I got a super chat. Let's see who this is real quick. I'm going to find you in the chat. Gigi, thank you so much for the super chat. And I'm going to give you a cheers. And we're going to go spin the wheel of patterns. So. Let me get my chairs on. I've been playing with my cricket. Can you guys see that? It says yarn ball. Oh no, I fell in love with my cricket. So let's go over. Let me turn this off before all the bubbles get stuck in my hair. To the wheel of patterns. Let's see. Let's give it a spin. Come on. There we go. It's like it's going in slow. My son must be playing video games. All right. You have the crochet bucket hat and this is this pattern right here in order to receive this pattern you have to email me i can't find you on youtube unfortunately and my email is littlejohnyarns at gmail.com you can find that information down in the description box below just scroll all the way to the bottom of the description box and it's in what section it's in the happy mail section i always forget what i named that area it has little asterisks around it so we'll hop back into this and thank you so much now i just have to find you so i can pull it back down oh i forgot to share the screen sometimes i'll just be reading and you'll be looking at my face all right this is number three this is called the dragon belly shawl an unlikely combination of ribbing and lace turns out to be the perfect pairing for the uh, delightful dragon belly shawl from Miho Crochet. This is a triangle shaped shawl that features fun tassels on each of the three points. The free crochet shawl is very clear and easy to follow thanks to the step-by-step -steps picture. The designer of this is Miho Crochet. 
I love this pattern. I can see you're working. Are they working in the back stitches? It looks like it to get that ribbing technique. That is super cute. All right, the next one that we're gonna look at is from one of my favorite crocheters, TL Yarn Crafts. Let me scroll down. Let's see if we get a better picture. Oh, this is so pretty. Can you guys see that picture good? This one is, oh, I put this out of her order. Here we go. This is called the Carlin Shaw. Finger and weight yarn might not be everyone's favorite to work with, but it's unparalleled in its ability to produce a lightweight crochet accessory. The movement and drape of the fabrics are like none other. This pattern features five shades of yarn and easy and attractive mesh designs and pico stitch finish. The designer of this is TL Yarn Craft. Oh, this is the pattern. I didn't pull up the pattern for this. Ah. This should be the website for this. Uh, we'll get back to it later. I'll fix it the next time I pull up. But those are some beautiful patterns. All right. So, like I said, the question that I asked you was, what's going on in your life right now? Tell me all about it. Make sure you put question marks right in front of it. So what else is going on in my life right now? I got to tell you my uh, daughter went to college. Well, it's going to college on the 20th. So uh, to continue a little bit with her, every single night we've been counting down. Like I have five more. Well, actually we have, what is it? Four more hugs good night before she goes to school. So every night we sit on a couch over there and we I call it giving lovin's where I give her hugs and we talk and, and then she's going to leave. But somebody super chatted. Let's see who super chat. Crafty Chats, thank you so much, and cheers to you. So I am going to spin the Willow Patterns, and we're going to see what you're going to get. So let's pull over up on my screen share and spin the wheel. Also, the Crochet Jewel Slippers right here. So please make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Thank you so much. And, you know, uh, if you already have these patterns, you can ask for a different pattern. Just go into my Etsy shop. My Etsy shop is linked down below. So we do that. Also, I guess last week I was talking on my live stream. I was saying since I'm um, starting working from home last November, I realized my wardrobe has dwindled so much. So I find myself working every single day in sweatpants, t-shirts, mishmacks. It don't matter. I'm at home. Nobody's looking at me. I've become a new hermit, but I'm working. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it. But I realized on my live streams on Saturdays, I have absolutely nothing to wear. Oh, we got another super chat. Let's Sabrina, one of my faves. Thank you so much. And cheers to you. You know the routine, so I'm going to spin the Wheel of Patterns. The bucket hat. So I'll go over here. As you can see, here's my bucket hat. Make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. I got the bubbles flowing everywhere. I should be careful. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, I... Ooh, uh, let me pull yours down. And like I said, thank you so much. Make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Email down below. So I have like absolutely nothing to wear. Today, maybe 30 minutes before my live stream, my parents roll up and they gave me this shirt right here. They're like, my mom's like, your daddy bought you this shirt so you don't have to look all crazy on camera. I'm like, thank you so much, mother. That, that's her endearing way of making sure I look nice. So thank you, mom. I appreciate the shirt. And my almost 70 year old daddy, you have wonderful style. And I have to apologize for my childhood. I have never been able to match my clothes. And guys, oh, let me break myself off again. If you're just showing up and you realize like, girl, you're talking too much. Where are the patterns? This is my live stream. It's not like my pre-recorded videos. All the patterns in this live stream is linked down in the description box below. So you can go directly to it and skip my big loud mouth and crochet along to all these awesome free patterns. And we got another super chat 
4572. Thank you so much. This is my first live stream. Thank you so much for joining me on my live stream. I hope you check out more of my channel. I have a lot. I do a lot of gadget reviews and I have a lot of patterns. So all the bubbles are my face. I appreciate you donating and being here for the very first time. So we're going to let you spin the wheel of pattern, Ford 572. I wonder what that means for you. I wonder. Okay. Makes me think about everybody's screen name. Did I screen share? Did I make sure? Yes, I screen shared. Here we go. And we're going to spin the wheel of patterns. You win the crochet uh, funky, funky hat. I shouldn't call it a funky hat. It's that just sounds like a dirty, stinky hat. I should have typed it in differently. Where it is, here he is, the funky crochet hat. It's more like one of those, what do you call it, from the 70s, like the Jackson 5s, Applejack hats. So that is the pattern that you will receive. Make sure you email me, littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. My uh, email is down in the description box below. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see happy mail. That's where you'll find my email, so you don't have to worry about just remembering it. So back to my 70-year-old daddy, Heaven Style. Thanks, daddy. If you're watching this, I appreciate it. All right, so let's see what's going on in your life. Leanne, welcome back. I just finished the split summer top that I tested for Ribbler, and I'm in love with it. I was... Oh, it was the first time I was chosen to be a, on a tester call. Well, congratulations. That's always very exciting to be like the first one to test the pattern to see if it's going right. For me, I love my testers. The testers are like the backbone of your pattern. Like if you want to make sure your pattern is going to be perfect and can fit other people, testers are the way to go. So I'm sure they're thankful that you're a tester also. Okay. Uh, Timmy, I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'm getting ready for cataract surgery. Well, I wish you the best of luck and a quick recovery when it happens. So I'm going to give you cheers to you for a quick recovery. And remember guys, all this patterns is down below. I have to keep saying that because sometimes I'll look in my uh, chats after the live stream where people watch this on the replay and they're like, why is she talking too much? It's a live stream. Patterns are down below. There's no comments in front of it. So, but uh, Lynn says, I like your personality. I'm a newbie, totally, and I've never knitted crochet before. I want to learn everything. That is like the danger of crafting, wanting to do everything. I started off as just a crocheter. I'm still like a one trick pony. I still only know crochet. That's my core. After, you know, 40 years of life, I realized I'm going to stick with what I know. But I tried making jewelry, bracelets, knitting. I didn't like that too much. I think I've tried so many crafts. Good luck. Oh, this is not like a promotion right now. I don't have a link or anything in my description. You guys can find this yourself. I recommend getting the Cricut. This, you can't see it back here, but the Cricut machine. Ah, the Cricut machine is back here. If you are a one trick crafting pony, you have to get this. I've made so many things. I wish I had it right now. I have a t-shirt that I made that says yarn life. I have like a walk stencil over my craft room, AKA living room, cause I have a small house over that says little John yarns. And my daughters made t-shirt, I mean, sweatshirts and stuff from our son's room. This glass, I've, can you see that? The Cricut is absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm getting off topic, but I always thought Cricut was something for somebody who had like a skill or you had to learn how to use this machine or something. It's like a three button machine. It's like an artist in a box. You push a button, stuff happens. Ugh, I love it. I don't know how I went off on that tangent, but we're going to get to the next topic. I'm sorry that I'm talking so much. Oh, oh, knit and crochet tiger preparing for my nephew's birthday on Tuesday. He'll be three and I made a special present. I crocheted him a triceratops and it's going to be his new teddy bear. That is the sweetest thing ever. That's so cute. You uh, know what? I feel like I, well, we'll get into that topic on the next one. So 
what question can I ask you next? Okay, we're gonna keep this all positive. It can be about crochet, it can be about whatever it is. What is the dumbest thing you have ever done? And I don't wanna say like marrying my husband, marrying my wife was the dumbest thing I ever did. I don't I don't wanna hear responses like that. I want something a little more sillier, you know? So what is one of the dumbest things that you've ever done? It can be regarding life, crochet, anything. But before you comment, make sure you put question marks in front of it. So I know to bring your comment to the front when we uh, discuss next things. Oh, this is what's going longer than usual. This is good live stream today. I have like a good vibe feeling. I can't explain it. Okay, it's weird. Let's hop into the very next one. Where are we? I'm sorry for this horrible picture. Oh, I can get distracted by this uh, super chat. Thank you so much. I'm going to find a correct pattern for this. See, this is my website. This is where you will find all these patterns. I want to show this woman's complete work and not a horrible little picture. Where is it? Here she is. Perfect. But let's see who just super chatted. Scroll. Found, no, did, did I, where'd you go? Hey, Aisha. Welcome back and cheers to you. I remember names. If you come here um, more than a couple of live streams, I'm going to remember you. And you become one of my faves when you finally clicks. If you have been back, let me know, let me know right now if this is, a, well, how about let me know, give me a thumbs up if this is your very first live stream. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Thumbs up if this is your very first live stream. All right, and thank you so much. We're gonna let you spin the wheel of patterns. Let's give it over here. Come on, computer, come on. The crochet boots. I thought about putting this on my channel because I just watched the live stream yesterday. Here are my crochet boots. Make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns, gmail.com, but you know the routine. But I decided to put this on the wheel of patterns because I was just watching the live stream uh, yesterday. Uh, Lisa's crochet, she is a hilarious, I just love her, her hair, her personality. But she did a video about these patterns and she loved it so much and she brought it up during her live stream. And I want to say thank you and I appreciate you. I know you're probably not watching this, but thank you so much. All right, so where were we? There we go. I want to give this, this beautiful, beautiful Shaw some credit. I missed it on the last one. This should be number four, but right now is number five. Um, yeah, up. Uh, I knew it. I'm so glad I checked back. I didn't put up my screen share. Ah, there we go. You're not watching my face. Okay, this is called the Just Feel Festive Shawl. The Just Feel Festive Shawl features a kaleidoscope of colors. It's the perfect project for a set of mini skeins or using up your yarn scrap leftovers from another project. This is an easy crochet shawl pattern. A simple granny stitch gets a visual upgrade when worked on a bias. Just look at all those lovely long diagonal lines. The technique it also naturally tapers at the ends for easy tidying. The uh, designer of this is Kalisha Ryan. This is such a beautiful shawl. And I got to give her creds if she ever watches this. This is a beautiful picture. I wish I could have myself a capture picture like this for my hair when I have some of my work done. But it never turns out that way. All right, guys, where's the pictures? Let's see if I can get a smaller picture so you can see it better. There we go. Take that down. This one is our number six. Little Fiction Triangle Shawl. One skein is all you need to make this stunning free crochet shawl pattern from Annie Design Crochet. This is a relaxing, repetitive design that is perfect for crocheting in front of the TV or crocheting while listening to a podcast. The beginner-friendly pattern only calls for basic crochet stitches and is available in both U.S. and U.K. terms. The designer of this pattern is Annie Designs Crochet. And remember, guys, all these patterns are down in the description box below, so you don't have to worry about me chit-chatting so much. The patterns are down below. 
Oh, I'm all tangled up in my wires. The question that I asked you, what is the most ridiculous thing that you've ever done? And I don't want to read something like uh, something horrible and just traumatic. Something funny, lighthearted. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to start myself. <sighs> uh, one of the dumbest things, I shouldn't say dumbest, the least intelligent thing that I've ever done. And I knew better. I was in high school and I was spending the night over my friend's house. And for some reason we were playing with perfume and landing those little puddles of perfume on fire. Okay. You already know this is probably leading to like horrible places. So we decided like, Hey, why don't you pour a little bit of a perfume into your hand and we'll light a puddle. And she puts them in her hand. She lit the puddle and the flames were whoosh and went out. I'm like, okay, I did it too. And it went out. So I'm like, let me try again. I actually poured a little bit. Was it nail polish remover? No, it was nail polish remover. I poured a little bit too much nail polish remover. So I'm like, Ooh, Ooh, a little bit too much, a little too much. And I told my friend, okay, light the puddle. Not thinking all of that nail polish remover, like fell down both my arms. She lights the puddle and my like hands go up in flames. And I'm like, oh my God. And I like roll on her bed. I, Cause you know, first thing you learn like in kindergarten was stop, drop, roll. So I immediately fell to her bed and start rolling. I singed, I didn't catch anything on fire. I singed some of her comforter. Luckily I wasn't burnt too bad. The hair on my arms was missing and that was it. So kids, don't play with fire. That was one of the most ridiculous things I've ever done. So those are the type of stories I want to hear. I don't want to hear any deaths. That's horrible. So let's hop into the comments. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom because before I started at the top, so now I'm going to start at the bottom. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Claptrap says, I've done so many dumb things, I wouldn't know where to start. I'm the mistress of dumb. I've even have a t-shirt that says, the idiot, to prove it. I, I might need one of those. Now I got my cricket. I'm going to have to try that. Okay, this one looks like a good one from Leanne. Okay. I was going to sit down on a little handrail thing in the main area of school cafeteria, but I sat down way too far. So I tumbled over with my legs up in the air. I sure did make an entrance. I can see that. Yeah, that, that's a good one. That's embarrassing. I fell many a times, but that's for another one. I'm going to let somebody else say what they've done. Hmm. Okay. This might be one of the top most, okay. Let's see, Maria says, jumping into a nine foot pool on a deer, not knowing how to swim. I was saved by a lifeguard. Never again, except deers. That, okay, that's a crown. I think you top my crown. I'm gonna take my crown off of idiocy and place it on you. I'm going to see if somebody else can top yours. And if you're just getting to this live stream, you're like, where are the crochet patterns? We're going to get into it. All the patterns, if you want to skip me talking, all the patterns are linked down in the description box below. They're free. Just click on all the links and you'll go directly to them. And you can skip me talking. This is us like getting to know each other. I'm seeing the screen. Ugh, I don't like it. So who's going to dethrone Maria? Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I do this all the time. Timmy says, looking for my hook while it's in my hair. I've had, I've looked for my glasses. I, I always have like 80 pair of glasses. I always have a, one on my head and one on my face. And then I'll go move them around. I'm like, where's my glasses at? So I'm always losing stuff and hooks fit perfectly in my hair. know what? I'm not going to give you a crown for this. I think Maria's going to keep the crown, but you, I think we've all done this. Buying a hundred worth of yarn I haven't used yet. Yeah, 
I do it too. I've been good. I think it's almost been two years since I've, I might get some yarn on my birthday that I won't use or on with me and my husband go out on our anniversary. You know, he'll let me go into the craft store and I'll get some yarn I don't use. But once upon a time, I used to just walk into the craft section and just get stuck like, Ooh, I might need this. I better need five skeins because I don't know what I'm going to make. What if I want to make a blanket or what if I want to make a hat? Better get 10 skeins in case. You know, I always do that. So, okay, I think I answered most of yours. What else? So these questions I'm all making up like on a whim. So the most ridiculous, we did that. I like better what's going on in your life because I can tell you some more what's going on in my life. So Tell me right now what's going on, or if you want to, what's the word, brag about something that you made with crochet, or you want to ask me a question about yarn business or whatever you want, go ahead, ask me now, but make sure you put question marks right in front of it, because now we're going to hop back into all these crochet shawls. All right, let me pull this one back down. Where are we at? We did this one, we did this one. Let's scroll down. This one is called the, let me make sure, did I put on screen share? I did. This one is called the Ren Sideways Shawl. Oh, this week's live streams, all these names are such like tongue twisters. They're very hard to say. <laughs> Free crochet shawl patterns seem to be the most triangle shapes, but the rectangle designs can be just as spectacular. Plus, you don't have to worry about increasing or decreasing with crochet shawl patterns shaped like rectangles. This design calls for single and double crochet stitches along with puff stitches. The designer of this is Truly Crochet. I like this. I believe, okay, this is work like this back and forth, back and forth and instead of going this way. Up, it's turned sideways. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about, but that's a beautiful. I would love to see that in like a gradient yarn. It really show off those stitches. All right. So the next pattern we're going to look at, let me pull this up so you can see it a little better. This is number eight, Ocean of Love Crochet Wrap. Of course, you could always skew traditional shawl shapes all together and do something a little out of the ordinary. This pretty multicolor wrap designs radiant outwards from the neck to form pretty peaks like a star. I like this unique design because it's easy to remember and it looks positively ravishing. The designer of this is Buttonous Crochet. This is, oh, wait, let me see it all spread out. Wait, nope, this is my favorite yarn color. See, a yarn can change a pattern completely. Look at this compared to this. I love this, that multicolor that it really makes the stitches pop. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've never made a shawl like that. Beautiful. All right. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but it is a billion degrees in my room right now. I'm burning up. Whew. I have a little small house. Unfortunately, we don't have central air. And let me look at my phone. Let me see. It's 80 degrees. At least that's like 12 degrees cooler than it's been like the past couple of days. And there's no air in here. So I'm like, I usually can suffer for an hour, but I need to get myself like a little spray bottle. I used to have one last year, but I don't anymore. Whew. So before we left off, Remember, I was asking, so what's going on in your life? You can ask me any questions. You can brag about what you made. Just make sure you put comments in front of it so I can bring it up to the front. So let me see. What is going on in my life right now? Uh, I started a new membership group about two weeks ago. But if you guys have been here before, I talked about that. All that information will be down below. You can press the join button. But don't worry, when you press the join button, you won't be automatically signed up. You can watch the video and see what it's all about. I have for the, I have two categories. It's called the Yarnies and the Yarnivores. The Yarny, well, I won't talk about it because I don't want to promote it right now, but you guys can all see it down below. So what else has been going on in my life? I've been murdering plants. Uh, about a month ago, I just had a fit moment where I just decided to buy 500 plants. You ever have those moments in your lives where 
you think about the change that's going on or you're just feeling down and you're like, you just buy something stupid. It was one of those moments. So I came home in my car with like 500 plans. And I'm like, I'm going to be like the nature queen. I'm going to have my house all decked out. And it's going to look like a indoor garden. And I'm murdering plants left and right. I don't know what I'm doing. I found that I do great with like peace li lilies. Those peace lilies, I don't know. Uh, you probably can't see. I have one. I have a couple up here. They let you know when they need water. They literally tip over. They're like, give me some water. And what are they? I'm learning names too. My pathos plants. Those are those pretty leaf plants that kind of like vines coming down. I'm good with those. I'm keeping them alive. I had some other plants. I had to give them to my mom. I call my mom the plant doctor. So I give her the plants. I'm like, why don't you make them healthy again? And I take them back. But no, I'm good. Well, that she's probably going to keep him because she has this beautiful window in her house, this bay window where she just has this forest of plants. And I just want to be like my mom and I can't. So that's what's going on in my life. So now I'm done talking. I'm going to hop into the comments and see what's going on with you. But make sure you put comments in front of it so I know to bring you to the front. And if you're just copying on this live stream and you're wondering where the patterns, we're going to get right into those. But if you want to skip me talking, all the links are down in the description box below. So let's see what's going on with everybody. Do, do, do. Okay, I'll start at the bottom. Hey, we have Rainbow Tiger from uh, Ireland. Let's see. I'm going backwards. Crafty chat. Sometimes the um, chat scrolls so fast. I don't know where to start and finish. So sometimes it's also easier to start from the bottom of the chat where I am and work my way back to the questions. So Crafty Chat Cafe says, brag and rice, three fully finished amigurumi in one month. So pleased with myself. Make sure you go soak your hands, rest your hands, do some stretches. I know it's probably just me because I have bad joints, but make sure you take care of my, yourself. Amigurumi is so beautiful, but those stitches are so small. Langelo, I know I probably ruined your name, but you're from Italy. Thank you so much for joining me here today. So cheers to you. Oh, you got a bonjourno from um, Cherry B48. Bragging rights, I'm guessing, from Cherry B. She says, finish a pocket shawl in the fall colors and a matching hat. Ooh, I think I need to probably do some matching sets. Those always work well. Let's see. XD Symphony says, I finally ordered a new office chair. I've eyed for years. It's expensive, but I've been working my butt off. So I told myself I deserve it. At least that's what I've been telling myself. You know what? You do deserve it. You do work your butt off. I, I don't know you, but I know me. Myself, I'm not a spender. I don't like to spend. In my younger years, I wanted new clothes. I wanted new this. But there's nothing I truly want. I'm not rich. I don't, I don't know. So when I do buy something big, I bought, uh, the beginning of this year, I bought an exercise desk. It's like an exercise, it's a bike desk with a, how can I say, it's a um, stationary bike. That's the word. Who lost it? It's a stationary bike and it has a huge desk on it so you can work and whatever. And I was able to crochet on it. But unfortunately, I think I have arthritis. We'll find out on the 25th or not what it is. But my joints, I wasn't able to do it. And it made my hip click. And I was so mad. I'm like, I deserve this. I want a desk. I want to move. And that's on my butt. But luckily, it went to a good home. I still want to do a review on that. I haven't yet. I want to call it like the crochet bike. Because you can crochet as you work out at the same time. I wish I had the picture. But I gave it to my mother instead. So she's over there doing her thing on my exercise desk. So maybe I'll get her into the review. All right. I'm sorry. I basically took over your thing. Forgive me. Oh, hey, one of my girls, welcome. Uh, left is right crochet with Sandy. She has her own YouTube channel. She says she's making blankets for all the canine units in a Kansas, Kansas City Police Department. Canine officers don't get enough recognition, so you want to give them something soft. 
and handmade so keep them uh, to keep them comfortable. That is amazing. My mother, uh, she was a state police officer for 20 years, but she was she's she was never into the canine unit. My mom has been afraid of dogs all her life, I think. No, she no, she wasn't. She was raised with a dog, but she never cared for taking care of them. But she was a state police and cheers to my mom. Uh, do you side tangent? We're talking about stuff, and I'm all in a story, and I've been drinking. I love my mom, and I've always wanted to be just like my mom. I tried also to become a Pennsylvania state police, just like my mom. Unfortunately, I didn't score enough high in the testing, which was strange. And I noticed the lack of diversity in uh, the Pennsylvania state police. When I took the test myself, I was in a room of 200 people. And of those 200 people, I was uh, the... There's two black individuals, including myself. So I was one of two and there were three other women and I was one of three, but there was only one black female there and myself. I'm like, and everybody else looked like a college frat boy. I'm like, stay police. You need to upgrade your testing because you're hiring all the wrong people. That's just my opinion. Okay. I went off on a tangent. They might have better uh, things going on in the world if they knew how to hire better and train better. Who do do? Oh, Timmy says I made a bunting for my oldest son when he was born. I wasn't in the crochet. I was in the crocheting, but not around the time when my children were born. I hope that he still has it. That is so amazing. My son still has the blanket that his grandmother made him. But unfortunately, when my children were born, I went through spurts of crochet. I learned when I was seven. I did a lot in elementary school. You know, then you get into middle school. You're like, I'm too cool. And then you get into high school and you're like, I'm unique. I crochet. And then in my 20s, I just stopped. I had my daughter at 20. It, I tried to make her a blanket 20 years ago. And I was trying to remember the crochet techniques that my grandma had taught me because I hadn't done it in a while. And I didn't know how to read patterns. And YouTube didn't exist yet because it was like 2000. No, it was 2000. That's when it was. So it was harder to learn techniques. And it was just horrible. I gave up on making anything for my kids. And by the time my son came around, I didn't even feel like it. His grandmother is like Martha Stewart. He calls her Nana. She can make anything. She sews, crochets, she knits, she upholsters, she leather works. She's, she does it all. She just makes me look bad. I always turn like, I want to have you on my channel. She's like, no, I'm like, you're so talented. Oh, wait, there we go. Designed by your hooker. Trying to fit into the crochet communities. I'm new to this. Well, welcome to this crochet community. You are always welcome. Know what? It's, there's nothing to be new. I don't know if you're maybe new to the crochet scene itself or just new to crocheting. I tell this to every single crocheter. If you can know the five basic crochet stitches like chain, slip, single, double, half double, those stitches, you are no longer a newbie. You're a pro crocheter. All you need is a good pattern to put it together. And luckily it's the future. It's about to be 2022. You don't need to learn how to read a pattern. You can follow a video. You can get a free pattern. You can, those five stitches can take you anywhere with just a good pattern. Okay. Where are we? Go. <laughs> Maria. So this Maria around the church, I ran around the church after my wedding, losing my mind because I couldn't find my purse. I had the purse on my shoulder. You had it on the whole time. Oh, that reminds me of the time my vacuum was broke. I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, my vacuum is won't work. It won't work. I'm pressing every single button. I think my daughter, she might've been like seven at the time when this happened. And she was like, mommy, you need to plug it in. Oh, yeah, we, we have those moments. Mwah. 
She says, hey, Alicia, darling. <gasps> oh, okay. Kahina says, I've looked for glasses when I'm wearing them. I do that all the time. To the trick to knowing where your glasses is. Having 800 pair of glasses. I usually buy glasses three at a time. I don't go to an eye doctor and buy expensive glasses. This, I'm not sponsored. It's not linked below. You can Google it yourself. I love Zeni Optical. I can get glasses as low as $6.95. These ones are from Zeni Optical. I had another pair of uh, teal ones because I sit on them. I break them. I lose them. So I always have random glasses on top of the refrigerator or my head or something like that. Get you a whole bunch of them. Actually, these are so dirty. I hope my camera's not picking up how dirty my glasses is. That's a peeve. I think my daughter, she's like, ew, dirty glasses. Okay. I think somebody's taking the crown for the uh, idiocy crown. Here we go. I don't, you're not an idiot. We should, we need a better crown for this, but you're, we're just going to give you the crown. Jeffrey, I jumped off a 30 foot bridge into an eight foot river. Why didn't you finish telling me? Please put comments and exclamation points so I can see what happened after you jumped off this bridge. Please comment. If you're watching, comment right now. I want to know. Did you go to the hospital? Did you break anything? Because you would have to like hit perfectly. That's, oh my gosh. Crown. <laughs> okay, I try to read these briefly before I pull them up. Karen said, I did this last night. I was having a dream of my, uh, my car being in an accident, but managed to toss myself off the bed and gave myself a black... A black eye, first time on your live stream. I, I'm, I wish we had like images that we can post of your black eye. Oh, I'm glad you survived your car accident from your bedroom. That's, I've never heard that one. I don't have ever tossed myself out of bed before. I fell out of bed just being goofy. Like, you know, my husband or whatever, I'll be silly and I'll jump on the bed and I'll miss the corner. I've done that a couple of times, but never in the while sleeping. <laughs> Knit and crochet tiger. In high school, I sat down in band class and accidentally broke wind when the whole classroom was quiet. Bless you, like a sneeze. I know that's not the wind you were talking about. <gasps> okay. Uh -huh. Can I pronounce your name? Davizia? Daviza. Daviza. I'm ruining your name, but this is a this this is a good one. This is gold. Climbing tree, climbing a tree and falling out, but being cut by my panties around the ankles, then laughing so hard, peed myself upside down. Jeffrey, you've been dethroned. I, I I still need to know what happened to you, but oh, that's that's embarrassing. You you tried to kill yourself. This is this is hilarious. I wish somebody had a camera. You would go viral. You would rip. That's oh. Oh, and guys, I always say this like every ten minutes. If you're just getting here and you're wondering where are these crochet shawls, it's a live stream. I talk. All these patterns are for free down in the description box below. Just below your viewer, click description. It's in there. It's with free patterns. I like your thinking. Couldn't think of anything dumb. I guess I'm smart. Hmm. I was just researching. I love to watch things like uh, psychologists online. Is my shirt backwards? No. So I've just learned about, what is it? Cognitive dissonance. This is basically, uh, no, not cognitive dissonance. This is the Dunning-Kruger effect. Why uh, dumb people don't, I shouldn't say dumb people. Why 
lesser intelligent people, less informed people do not know that they're less informed. You guys should uh, Google the Dunning-Kruger effect. You ever talk to somebody who's, uh, oh, somebody told me learning piano was easy. I'm like, what do you mean? You can't play piano. You're like, piano is easy. Blind people do it all the time. I'm like, what a horrible, what, what type of generalization is that? Because their information of piano playing is so limited, they can't see how much more information that they need to learn. So according to Dunning and Kruger, when you are, let's say, a piano teacher or professor, you realize there's still so much you need to learn. You kind of undervalue what you know because you believe there's so much more to learn. You know that box is so much bigger than a person who's uninformed. And I went off on tangent of Dunning-Kruger effect. Okay, let's see if we can find Jeffrey. Did Jeffrey come back? Jeffrey, did anybody see Jeffrey? I want to know what happened to him. I don't see him. He didn't respond yet. Okay, here we go. Jeffrey. Got lucky, just sore tailbone. Yeah, you did. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What? I know you are with friends. What did they think? Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're going to hop into the last uh, two patterns. Like I said, all these patterns are free down in the description box below. And before we go into our next one, I'm going to ask you a question again. I'm having fun with our topics. Ask me about anything. Ask me about what's going on in my life. Ask me about a uh, crochet business. If you've already asked your questions and I missed it, I'm sorry I didn't see it. Just type it again. So therefore we can discuss it. I'm sorry I missed it. Just type it again. We'll get to it. All right. So here we are. I believe we're on the last two. Scroll down. Ooh, pretty. I love me a granny stitch. Get you a better view. This is called the Scrappy Crochet Granny Shawl. Make sure I shared the screen. I did. Fabulous Friends is an excellent addition to any of our free crochet shawl patterns. It really adds something special and makes the shawl stand out. You'll be the boho belle of the beach with this gorgeous granny shawl draped around your shoulders or tied around your waist. Plus, once you use up all the scrap yarn, then you can buy more yarn. The designer of this, Morale Fiber Blog. This is cute. See, granny square is my thing. This is like you get to skip stitches. You can use a bigger hook and it always looks cute. All right, let's pull up this one. And the very last one is called the wrapped in diamond shawl. If you've been looking for the perfect crochet project for the extra special skin of yarn, then you'll definitely want to check this one out. The simple diamond design really shows off all the long color changes. The best part is that it's totally easy and you can make it using just double crochet stitches. The designer is this, Tarun Johnson. This, oh, see, I love it in a brighter color. This is pretty. With that color, I'm seeing the stitches pop. All right. Oh, I need a fan. I need something, it's hot in here. Whew. So guys, what is going on in your life right now? Tell me, brag, ask me questions, anything. So let me see. I usually start off with myself, what's going on? <gasps> okay, I know if any family members are watching, they're probably gone by now. I love my husband, he's the love of my life, but sometimes, Stuff can get messy. He he likes to collect junk. His father was a scrapper. His grandfather was a scrapper. So he, when I say scrapper, I don't mean scrapper. I mean like scrap metal. You know what I mean? Get metal, scrap it, turn it in for money or whatever. But he no longer scraps. But sometimes he still collects it. I guess scrapping is like collecting yarn, but at least my yarn looks pretty on my shelf. I was looking like a junkyard. In the backyard, I'm like, listen... I'm done. I can't be having my neighbor's yards looking nicer than mine. So I rented a dumpster. We've been putting stuff in a dumpster and left them right. I'm like, I'm going to have a nice yarn. And I'm like, I feel myself turning into that nagging wife and I don't want to be her. 
but now everything is starting to come together. I'm seeing so much green. I think one day I need to learn how to like vlog live stream style so I can like take you outside or show you around my craft room or AKA living room. But now my yard is finally coming together. I had to beg and beg and beg and plead until I just decided to do it myself and put it all in my hands. I'm like, I guess I'm calling. I got to call the tree trimmer. got to get the gutters clean. I'll figure it out. You know, us women. So what's going on in your life? Oh, I'm hot. So hot in here. I'm dying. Is it Nini? I'm doing embroidery work while stitching instead of crocheting. I'm taking a mini crochet break. You know what? Sometimes you have to. You ever get, I, I, this is when you do a, personally, when I do a big project, it can become so monotonous. I just dream of the day when it's done. I'm like, it's just going to be so pretty when it's done. You just got to make it 85 more rows. That's why I like small projects, but what you're doing is excellent. Take a break, do something else, come back to it. What's the rush? Let's see. Speaking of 85 million more rows, Cheryl said, spent the last two months making a king size uh, basket weave afghan. Finished it, but wonder who's going to weave in the ends. They need to invent a fairy. And know what? I'm going to give you a cheers. The basket weave is beautiful, but it's like a yarn. Well, you know, you've been making a king size blanket. It shrinks on itself. Like if you were just doing a double crochet, let's say fictitious. Uh, my mail, my address is not. This is a double crochet. But when you start doing a basket weave and the post stitches, my address is on. The stitch shrinks down to this. So it's like you're doing like twice the work. But the outcome is so beautiful. So you get a cheers for that. There we go. Sandra says, I'm working on a Christmas stocking, felt beads and sequins embroidered. I'm taking a break too. I have one crochet pattern. I'm taking a break on crochet pattern. Ah, mm. Whew. Always mispronounce my words. I'm taking a break on crochet patterns after this next one. I have a pattern coming out, but that's been done. It's like a peak. Of, ooh. Uh, hope my pits aren't sweating. I think I showed this last week, but this is coming out actually tomorrow. It's called the Peekaboo uh, Shoe. This was named by one of my uh, yarnivores in a group. So thank you so much. You know who you are. Hey, Lisa, speak of the devil. I was just speaking about you. I have a hundred million things I want to make. I just don't know which one I want to start with. If you guys were here early when I was talking about Lisa, this is her, she's the reason why I put these boots on the yarn pattern. If you happen to donate during this live stream, bubbles will go off. Uh, these lights will go off and you get to spin a little panic. But regardless, I'm like, oh, I forgot about those boots. Let's put them up. But Lisa's crochet, I was at her live stream yesterday. They are flipping. I'm sorry, I'm looking down at the camera. I should be looking at you. I'm learning how to look directly at you. I'm sorry. I was watching. I'll talk to you, Lisa. I was watching your live stream and you are hilarious. You guys are just on there chit-chatting, having a blast. And I want to say thank you for doing a video that included my pattern and you said you liked it. Thank you. I love those quick, simple patterns. This last one that I'm working on is just a square folded over into a slipper. Perfect for beginners, nothing fancy. Let's see what else is going on in here. My girl and apologetically Mocha got accepted into a craft show this winter. So I'm making stuff for the show. That's always like uh, so exciting and like nerve inducing because you're always like, maybe I need to make one more hat. Maybe I need to make 50 more keychains. Maybe I need to make how many washcloths, how many colors. It's always so confusing. Sometimes people like to ask me, what do you recommend for craft shows? I didn't do too many because I guess my nerves, I, I'm a nervous wreck. I just, 
I don't know. The atmosphere wasn't for me. Some of the ladies weren't so nice, but that's not everywhere. Maybe that's just Western Pennsylvania. Uh, crafters out here might be a little bit more moody. I didn't care for that. I like to sell on my terms. I like to sell 24 hours a day. So luckily for me, this some women like my girl, Karen V. Miguel, she sells. Well, actually in person and online, she's a seller. If you guys want to learn how to truly sell your handmade items, I want you to check out Karen V. Miguel's uh, YouTube channel. She also has a handmakers class, which I took, which was wonderful and helped me grow my uh, business. She's the one to go to. But if you have any uh, questions about how to do what I'm doing, uh, passive income. I love that. I sell patterns. I write blogs. I do this. It all makes money passively. Yes, I'm working daily, but the stuff that I made in the past continues to make money every day. But I've also did the uh, selling um, individual things. I still sold all online because I was able to like post nonstop and like Ah, getting people's face online easier. In a craft uh, show world, I was more passive. People always like, you'd be so fun in person. Mm, I'm a, I got a, I don't know. My personality's weird. I'm an introvert online. Just talking to you right now isn't so bad. But if there's like 50 billion people in a room, I'm like, uh, I probably have a panic attack. Okay, talking too much. Where are we at? Uh, like I said, I've wrapped up all these patterns. We'll still talk for like another 10 minutes or so because I'm having a good time. But if you want to see any of these patterns, they're all linked down in the description box below for free. Go directly to them. You don't have to watch me talk. It's okay. It's down below. So uh, let's, what's up with Ford? I'm on, I'm on the bid crocheting a cardigan for my mom-in-law. The best bit I'm use bits I'm using snugly with my Two boxer dogs. You're snuggling with your two boxer dogs. Oh, how cute. Dominic, Dominique, or Dominic. I'm crocheting a blanket with a pattern that I made up myself. Ooh, I think it goes one row of blue, one row of black, and two rows of blue, and so forth. That's a nice pattern. I wish I was able to put colors together like that. So I'm going to give you a cheers for color coordination. Another sad moment, my daughter's going away to college on Friday. She is my uh, yarn color coordinator. I should like pay her for her hard work. I can't match. Like I said, my parents bought me this shirt. Growing up, I couldn't put clothes together. I couldn't match anything. Just bad. My mom struggled with me. She was a young, like, what are you wearing? I'm like, it's the 80s. There's too many opportunities and patterns for me to mess up with. I just can't. But yeah, she's still... At 40, my mom still buys me my clothes sometimes because she wants me to look nice. Because your reflection of how you look is how people see you. That's not how she sounds. Oh, God, I hope she's not watching. Ashley, we sound alike. My mother, myself, and my daughter, we all sound alike. If The way we answer the phone, it's weird. We're the me threes, Marie threes. All three of us, the three of us all. I don't know. I said it wrong, but we all have the middle name of Marie, my mom's name, middle name Marie and my daughter. So the how it goes is my mother is me one. I messed up the story. Rewind. Let me start again. You know, my middle name is Marie. When I was little, I couldn't pronounce my middle name. So I would call myself Alicia me. So therefore, still to this day, people call me Alicia me. So I am me too, since I am the second Marie. My daughter is me three, and my mother is me one. So we are the three me's. I told her, well, my daughter wants us, because she'll be 21 next year, to get like matching tattoos. We'll see if my mom's going to do it. Cross your fingers. So three generations of Marie's. Oh, it's okay. We're still talking for a little bit. Silver Wings 1268. Sorry I'm late. How are you? I am doing good. Like today's live stream was actually pretty different. I, was, I think I was being more, I talked about myself. I never talk about myself. I just usually babble about anything. And I'm so surprised most of you guys listen to me babble and I do appreciate it. What do you say is the fastest thing to crochet? 
baby booties. Those are pretty fast. If you're going for craft shows, keychains, uh, coasters, washcloths, little things. The fat thing that I always loved to crochet was hats. But I, I didn't realize I changed my mind when I crochet, when I was talking to one of my friends. Uh, they're like, you're like the queen of slippers. The queen of slip. I'm like, I have made 552 slipper patterns. I love making slippers. They're like the best thing in the whole entire world. And to me, who, who doesn't love a slipper? If I gave somebody a crochet hat. No, what most people hats I gave, they wear. So hats are a good present. I've given people crochet blankets and I've gone to their house and I've seen their pet just laying on their area. Just, I'm like, this was for you. This wasn't for, no, it's not a pet blanket. It was, I made this for you for hours. But when I made, excuse me, I burped drinking too much wine. But when I made like hats and slippers, people have, as gifts, they would use it. Hats, slippers, scarves. People use those. So, hmm. yeah, I don't know where I got off of the tangent. Oh, you were the fastest thing to crochet. I love slippers. Shirley says, should I get a YouTube channel for crochet? Can you mentor me? Well, I can't personally mentor you because I actually get asked to mentor quite a lot, but I can give you some wonderful tips right now. I actually do recommend starting a YouTube channel, but I would like to tell you, it is not all like peas and carrots. It's not easy and it takes hard work. There's an exact science and I'm still not a scholar in it myself. You have to learn the algorithm. But the wonderful thing about YouTube, once you get it, it's great. I don't recommend just using YouTube alone to make money. People probably think, oh, you're on YouTube. You get, I got about 150,000 subscribers. Some people are like, wow, you're like a millionaire. Uh, YouTube, the YouTube financial cut is 45.55. YouTube takes 45% of whatever income I make from my YouTube views. I get the other 55. If YouTube gets mad at me, it can take my channel and everything I put into it and toss it away. But what's wonderful about YouTube, it is a great, great way to become seen. YouTube is only a tool in this whole crochet business. One of the things I definitely recommend is having a blog. Write patterns, have a blog, have a YouTube. It's like a trifecta. These things will work together to help you create income. I don't have, I thought, because I always say, how should I phrase this? Warren Buffett says you should have several streams of income. I once heard people say you should have at least seven streams of income. I thought I had seven streams of income. To the day, uh, my mother told me, what if something happens to you? You should have a link so everybody knows where your money's coming from. So I went back and looked at all the places where this crochet money is coming from. 16 places I have sources of income coming to myself. So if YouTube vanishes, I still own everything else. They might take my face and I can probably start another channel, but I still have a way of making money. YouTube is just this, but it's a way to be seen and get to know people and great marketing, to be honest. But yes, start a YouTube channel, research. I recommend uh, Gary, what's his name? I'm trying to remember the YouTube people that I love. Nick Nimmin, he's a great person. Uh, I guess his name, Gary V. I think it's Gary. No, that's my favorite. Not Gary V. That's my entrepreneur business guy. But there's a just Google how to YouTube. You'll come up with some great people. Oh, and for blogging, income school. This is kind of off the bat, but I wish I had more information. Ask the more detailed question, and I can give you a better answer. How about that one? And that wasn't a jab on you either. Just ask a little bit more detail. A girl says, hey, I want to say thank you. You, Jada, and Blossom taught me to crochet. I have low self-esteem, and learning to crochet has really helped my confidence. Thank you again. 
know what? Thank you for watching us. And you named some of my favorites. And I love Jada in Stitches. She is, just, I don't know, her being is just so bubbly and happy. And know what? Suffering from low self-esteem is hard. It's really hard. And this whole YouTube thing for me, not to get back on the business thing, but you wouldn't think so, but I suffered from low self-esteem. But realizing it was, I'm not, I don't want to say anything to offend anything, but it was me hurting myself. I, I have trouble in social situations. I overanalyze things. I think people are criticizing me, but I'm slowly, even at 40, learning how to take a breath and step forward. And me talking to you has helped so much. So thank you to you and cheers to you and congratulations. I'm happy crochet has brought so much happy to your life and bring you outside the box. Cheers. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh yes. One of my faves, Toro A Star. Is your husband up for any new projects? He's officially leaving his day job to work at a job he's always wanted. He wants to be a cook. His last day is September 30th. He's not starting his own business. He's going to go work at a restaurant and do what he wants to do. And he has, uh, it's his friend. So he has a little bit more, I wouldn't say control, input into what he gets to make. And he's going to do some more catering gigs. And it's better to do catering gigs when you work at a restaurant. It's legit. You can't be catering outside your house. So therefore he caters with the chef and the owner of the restaurant. So he is starting that new venture. I'm excited for him. It's brand new. And I, I know it's been hard. I quit my job last November, but I, I, I planned this. I, as a woman, I made sure I had at least eight months, it was eight months. It wasn't a quite a year worth of salary or income. I have put that in my saving while working my midnight shift as a caregiver. So I made sure I had at least eight months worth of income. And then I made sure my yarn income was at least twice as much as what I made from my day jobs income. So when I quit, I was prepared. He's less prepared, but He's not starting his own business. He's going to another job. So that's relaxing about that. Because I don't know if he can. He's a wonderful cook. But I don't know about starting his own business. But record in a restaurant, you should taste this food. Amazing. I burn water. Mm. I'm loving this live stream. It's hilarious. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Before coming on, oh, I always say this every 10 minutes. If you're just getting here, wonder where the patterns, we went over all the patterns, but you can still hop down in the patterns down in the description box below and just click the link. You can crochet away right now. This live stream, I tell people every single week, I get like butterflies in my stomach bad right beforehand because I am so nervous. I'm like, what am I going to talk about? What if I have a dull spot? What if I run out of things to say? And every single week it goes pretty smoothly. And look at me and I'm looking at the timer on my screen. It's been an hour and 18 minutes. How in the world do I talk that long? I'm, I don't want to, I'm not trying to toot my horn. Like I amaze myself. I talk so well. It's, it's just weird. I wish you guys can experience this. Never, if you would have asked me like five years ago, Alicia, you're going to be a YouTuber. You're going to be live streaming and podcasting. I'm like, bull sugar, I ain't. She ain't catching me on camera. I was on YouTube for at least two years. I was pulling a hook by Robin. You didn't see my face. All you seen was my hands. You just, you know, but I finally worked up the nerve to get in front of the camera. And I'm glad I did. Let's see. If you guys have any questions for me, make sure you put any comp. If you have guys have any questions or comments, put question marks in front of it so I can pull this to the front. Hmm. Are there any hack videos in the near future? I love those. I ran out of hacks. I don't have any more hacks. It's tough. I need to like scour Reddit. 
I need to put like out an online poll and get everybody to help me out. I, I, I need some more crochet hacks. I love those. And I think other crocheters like yourself love them too. Okay, let's see. Scroll down. What am I missing? Here we go. Michelle, what is the best way to get into the crochet business? I've been crocheting for several years and would really like to start a business with it. Any ideas? Luckily, it's the future. You can put yourself into the crochet business. Unlike it was in the past where you had to write up. When I say past, I'm talking about 20 years ago, even like 15 years ago, you would have to write into mag crochet magazines to get yourself published. You can start as easy as it depends on what type of business you want. I'm going to uh, I'll give a brief about handmade uh, selling handmade items for myself. I am not the guru of selling um, handmade. I did this in the past uh, with myself. The most money I made a month selling my handmade items was I think I topped out at like twelve hundred a month max. And this wasn't consistent. But I was like crocheting like crazy. But there's other people who price better and make more. But I was selling on Facebook constantly. I was able to reach such a broad people, not from my uh, own personal Facebook feed, because I didn't want to spam my friends. I would go into Facebook groups, specifically selling groups and uh, sell with a nair. I would post in those constantly and I'll be on Instagram or whatever and sell with them in them places. But if you truly want to know how to sell handmade items, I want you to check out Karen V. Miguel. Uh, she has her YouTube channel. Just Google her. Also, her name is Canada by Bliss. She has a course. It'll teach you how to do all these. I need to get her link down in my description box. But mwah, great information. But if you want to learn how to make a business like what I'm doing, more of a passive income, online, blogger, pattern writer, start on Etsy. Start writing patterns. You know what? Current. I think that's why my patterns sell so well, because every one of my written patterns comes with a free video. They're able to see visually see and read the pattern at the same time. I like to call it the trifecta, the blog, patterns and YouTube. All of these work for me together, but you want to say where to start. I'm giving you too much information. Start on Etsy. <laughs> if you're just anything, start selling patterns on Etsy. Start writing patterns. You're not going to make many sales, but start there first and start learning SEO. And know what? If you're creating them patterns, start putting some of them patterns on YouTube. Make sure you use long tail keywords. If you're doing on YouTube, link those, um, your pattern, link your free video pattern to your paid pattern. I know you might think, why would anybody buy the paid pattern if they're getting a free YouTube video. They will. I give people the option of all. You get a free YouTube video. You get a free vlog pattern or you have the option to buy the written PDF pattern that has no ads on it. So all of these link together. I probably was all over the place, but great place to start Etsy. But don't let Etsy, they won't, how can I say this? Etsy won't work for you. You have to work on Etsy. Don't expect Etsy to bring you traffic. You have to advertise on Instagram, on Facebook, on social media to get back to your shop. So just don't trust them, but start there first. Mm -mm. I'll get in trouble. I've done this in the past before I learned my lesson. You might see on my channel, uh, Inspired by Frozen hat. I have like a, a Elsa hat and Aunt, uh, Anna hat. Uh, I think those are my only character hats, but I did that way back in the day before I learned my lesson. And I haven't been flagged or anything. And I don't sell the pattern because there is, it's not even just copyright infringement. This is what's intellectual infringement. Is that the word intellectual? They own the property. I can't make Yoda and sell anything that has Yoda in it because Disney owns that. So they can get me. What was it about last year, two years ago, when the whole baby Yoda thing came out? It was Disney's fault because when the whole Mandalorian came out, they didn't have their marketing ready. They didn't have a baby Yoda on the shelf for people to see and buy. Like when Yoda came out, people were like, I want baby Yoda. He is so cute. They went to the store. 
there was nothing there. So what does crocheters do? You know, we start making uh, the little cute amigurumi dolls, the hats and everything. And guess who got mad? Disney went to Etsy. It was like, listen, anybody who's selling Yoda with our Disney, this is intellectual, our intellectual property. You can't do this. You're going to get in trouble. So people were trying to get around it. They were calling like the alien child and stuff. But I won't. But nobody said anything about my YouTube video. I took it. There is no monetization on those videos. I do not sell the pattern. So far, I have not been in trouble. But that was in my earlier days. But you can get into trouble doing that. So I try to stay away. <laughs> She's. I forgot. Maybe vaguely themed hats. Oh, Reggie's here. I see somebody said, hello, J-Hook, where are you? Oh, here we go. Good evening. Just saying a quick hi. Crazy day. What's going on? I know you're just saying hi. What's going on with you? Today has been like just a personal chat day. See what's going on. Let's see. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I'm getting hot. I'm sorry, I'm just looking for somebody's comment that I have to, haven't got to yet. Yes, knit, crochet, tiger, intellectual property. I couldn't get it right. Hello, Christine. Hey, wanted to see what you're up to today. Just chilling, burning in my living room slash crochet room. Hot. That's it. I'm going to just know what? I'm just going to do one more comment. Because I'm burning, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to let you go until next week. But, oh, I forgot to let you know my new schedule. Since I started a brand new membership, the very last Saturday of the month is going to be dedicated to my Yarnivore groups. We are going to have our own personal chat together. And this was inspired by Lisa Crochet. When I was on her live stream, she just had people coming into her live stream. I thought that was so amazing. So, all of my yarnivores, if you're coming to my live stream the last Saturday of every single month and you want to join me on screen, like me, you separate it and just chit chat, anything, ask me all these questions that you always want to ask. You can do it on a live stream or you can just, if you don't want to be on camera, that's fine. Or you can just be on chat. There's not that many of us. I think it's only like eight of us in a group. So it's nice and small. You're going to have the focus all of me. We can talk about business. We can talk about uh, my husband not listening. We can talk about whatever you want to. That's what we're going to do the very last Saturday of every single month. So to all my regular subscribers that aren't members, so you can still get me first, second, and third Saturday of every single month. The fourth ones are just going to be for my special yarnivores. I'm starting to get a dry spot around my mouth. Let's see. You would. That's so awesome. Listen, Kahina, wait. And when you're there, I want you to tell me the correct pronunciation of your name, Kahina. I, I know I, I, I just don't want to pronounce it wrong. If we're going to get to know each other, I can't be calling you something wrong. My grandma called me Lisa for like the first like, well, she called me Lisa to the day she passed away. I didn't mind. I answered to it. But she just always called me Lisa, even though my name is Alicia. <laughs> yep, here we go. Okay, knit and crochet tiger. Best to stay away from making designs with characters, logos, trademarks, and the likes of already established things. The Saint Flair de... I don't know, can't say that. I'm knitting a sweater for my mom, but cannot sell. Yes. I mean, you do it for your fam. It's just, hey, don't sell that. You'll get in trouble. All right, guys, let me pull this down. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. I had so much fun. I'm just going to go and cool off because it's so hot in the room. Oh, all right. And. I'll see you next week's live stream. And don't forget, tomorrow, all of you, please check out my brand new tutorial. It'll be posted in the morning. And oh, one more, one more thing. Don't go, don't go. 
I cannot get Instagram followers. I don't know why I'm horrible at Instagram. Could you all do me one big favor right now? Down in the description is the link to my Instagram. Could you like, you know, subscribe to my Instagram and anybody that subscribes today, I'll subscribe back to you. I'm just trying to grow my channel. I don't know how, not my channel, my YouTube, my Instagram page. Is that what you call it? I'm bad at it. I'm trying to get better. All right. So now I'll see you all next week. Bye guys.